Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, I believe, if memory serves, uh, we were about level 48. We're now level 61, and I've been destroying as many of these guys as humanly possible. Now, they are bullshit, <clears throat> but I have found a winning formula, and it is honestly as simple as that. We're using the shield rod and the Alucard sword. And it means as soon as we put the shield up, we do a disgusting amount of damage to these guys. So we could probably, if we wanted to, squeeze a few more levels, but nah, I don't really see the point. Uh, we're hitting the allure of diminishing returns pretty hardcore here. And we're also running out of... Oh, hell. We're also running out of game to actually uh, get through as well. So we've got one more boss to deal with on this uh, particular <clears throat> video. Hopefully we will get to him. Now the good thing as well, every frame that we're in contact with an enemy whilst our shield is out, we also... Oh, I hate these guys so much. I cannot explain to you how much I hate these guys. Every frame that our shield contacts an enemy and does damage, <clears throat> or defense damage, we actually heal 8% of our health as well, or at least 8 units of life. But yeah, you can see just how kind of insanely OP this is. It's, it's unreal. <laughs> um, I was looking up uh, some information on what is the most efficient way of defeating these guys. And yeah, shield rod plus the Alucard shield, and that's what we get. Also, if we hold down uh, or hold the shield button and push the attack button twice with the shield rod, we do this like super ultimate attack, which apparently is absolutely devastating. <clears throat> I've had very mixed results with that. It seems like sometimes it'll hit the enemy and do crazy damage. And sometimes it just seems to do nothing at all. Uh, but anyway, we've got some things to go and check out. But let's get our way back through here anyway. So, we are going to explore another couple of rooms that we've missed out, funny enough. Oof. Yeah, you can see just how bullshit these guys are. I'm supposed to be turning into gas here, but it's not working for some reason. But that's okay. Now we want to wait for this guy to start doing his... Yeah, my God. These guys really can just stun lock you into a position where they're going to drain all of your health in absolutely no time at all. I don't like these guys, <laughs> you might have noticed. Uh, grinding these guys was infuriating. So I will demonstrate our shield ability. Like so. <clears throat> Sometimes, as I said, it does crazy good amounts of damage. And other times, you can literally do it to them about six or seven times. And it does nothing. So I'm not 100% sure on exactly how that works. But, you know, it's there if we need it. Now, we didn't go down here properly either, I don't believe. <clears throat> so let's explore this place. There is a uh, boss, like I said earlier, that we need to deal with. But he is incredibly trivial. And he's going to give us the last piece of old Vladdy boy, and then we can go defeat him. But all in time, Padawan, all in time. Now, just coming down here, all this does is open up that there. It just fills in the last few blanks of the map, which, well, I mean, we may as well, I suppose. I'm still really enjoying using the gas ability. It's incredibly OP. Now, from what I can understand, they recommend that when you go and attack Vlad, you're somewhere in the mid 50s level wise. So we're actually like level 61 already. So we should, in theory, be good to go. <clears throat> I say we should be. Right, let's go down. 
Now this way, we have a heart expansion. And the other way, we have a health expansion, I believe. So we're almost on like 1100 health. I believe last time we left off, we had about 650 health topped out. Now we have 1,068. Kind of crazy, really. But that's fine. Um, I think of what weapon I want to take, to be honest. I mean, I guess just for shits and gigs, we'll take the holy water. In all fairness. Come on. Don't be a pain, bloody boy. I do like the holy water to be fair you know when it works well it works incredibly well and it's just absolutely devastating now we can go down here as well but i gonna be honest i can't remember how to get down here so we'll get this if we fast forward the game the clock will actually rotate a lot faster so i'm guessing it's something to do with waiting for the clock hands to be in the right position but we're not too bothered. You know, we're just going to turn into gas to get rid of this guy because this guy is a pain. And he's just going to make things way more difficult than they actually have to be. Okay. Get out of here, dude. No victory for you this day. Yeah. If you can get them right, if you can get into their attack pattern just perfectly, they are beyond trivial. We are still getting a somewhat decent amount of experience for killing them as well. Yeah, when they do that low down swipe, there doesn't appear to be any way of blocking that. But as soon as you're actually in the block mode, yeah, it just does an insane amount of damage. In fact, if we go and attack just like one more of these guys, we'll get another level. So, I mean, it seems rude at this point. Not to min-max these guys if we can. There we go. Oh, we didn't level. Okay, we got like 63 XP to go. But even though we have quite advanced levels, we're still taking an absolute kick in from these guys. But whatever. Anywho, let's explore because we've got some uh, save rooms to find that we haven't actually grabbed yet. Oh, forgot about him. Forgot about you. Oof. Those things really hurt, by the way. Quite incredibly so, actually. Now, uh, right. So we actually need to go all the way down. Got ya. Trying to remember where I've been and where I haven't been. That's the challenge at the moment. I don't even think we took damage there from these guys with a ship. Nah, we do. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Whoa, and I really need to stop forgetting about them. Uh, right. I think you know. We could just head this way and get ourselves something. Uh, no, we won't. We'll come back there in a minute. As I've said, we are preciously close to the final boss. There's only two uh, bosses left, I believe. And two of them are the final boss, basically, rolled into one. So we're getting there. Just got to go around and explore the rest of the rooms. Of which, there ain't many left, Chief. There ain't many left at all. Oh, I love this music in this area as well. Absolutely love it. Right, so let's go hit up the safe spot that we haven't actually used yet. Oh, we're actually on 1108 health now. God damn. Very nice. Cool. Let's go this way. 
Now in here, I believe... Possibly some goodies. Possibly. We've got two options. We've got a life expansion. Which, why not, I guess. And then this way, we've got a diamond. And nothing that way. Okay, that's fine. We'll take it. Why not, right? Did I not grab the holy water? Oh well, doesn't matter. I love the fact this heals us as well. It doesn't heal you a lot, but I mean, it heals you enough. And there's another room here somewhere to explore. So we can turn into gas, stinky gas, to get through. Ah, wait, okay, yeah. This is, ooh, didn't want to activate that. That's actually a really expensive sub weapon to activate. I think it takes like a hundred hearts. And I mean, it's powerful, sure, but it's not like, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's not a very efficient weapon to use. <clears throat> powerful, yes, but they're certainly, I don't know, I, is it more interesting sub weapons to use, I think. I mean, as badass as it is to have two massive crosses flying around, doing tons of damage to everything they come into contact with. You know what? Let's grab the blade. The throwing knife. Sure. Let's have a play with that. If we come down here, there's another opal. And we're going to grab it because why not, Chief? Better in our pocket than leaving it for the roaches, that's for sure. Now, yeah, we can't actually get back to that other wall. I didn't think we could. Okay, so this is almost completely, son of a bitch, almost completely explored. We're going to leave no stone on this castle unturned. At least as humanly possible, anyway. There we go. That's this area completely mapped out. Nice. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we can get to the boss before the end of the video. Now, as I said, actually I can't remember if I said or not, but he is completely trivial. Probably up there with some of the easiest bosses that we've had to deal with thus far. And the idea that he has the last piece of Vlad is kind of amusing. Out of the way, skelly bags. Oh, that's probably what happened. He probably dropped the cross. I see. That's fine. Okay, back through the loading screen of justice. And that is going to bring us out here, and we can keep exploring off to the left. At least when we get to the right place. Ooh. Yeah, that sucked. But, you know, we've got so much health, it doesn't really matter. I'm guessing when you level up to, like, level 100 or something, you must have nearly 2,000 health, surely. I think that's as high as you can actually get at level 100. <clears throat> How you actually do that is kind of insane. I guess it's just... A in oof, incredible amount of grinding. We've run out of power right at the last second there. Not fantastic. Uh, this is going to be annoying. One second, I will wait to get my uh, magic back and I will see you in a second. So out of interest, if you do want to wait to get all of your mana back, it takes uh, about five minutes. That's... A hell of a lot longer than I thought it would, but thank God for the ability to be able to fast forward the emulator. That's all I can say. Man, where would we be without emulators? Oh, yes. Way behind on game preservation. Because of emulators, this game is preserved forever. Which is good. Uh, if we come up here, there is an iron ball. I don't think we've actually tried the iron ball out, to be honest. 
Now these guys we can use to get all of our health back. I discovered this. Now, you do find more of these golden skulls, but these are the only ones that you appear to be able to use this trick on. Now, unfortunately, you may notice that using the analog card shield and using that uh, shield heal actually does severely consume magic power. Which, uh, I guess it makes sense because, you know, it's such a brokenly OP option. And I didn't even know about that. Like, when I was looking up how to defeat those guardians, I believe they're called, to get some serious level grinding going, uh, it, it didn't actually mention the fact that your, sh the, your shield can heal you. So I don't know if your shield is healing because it's being used in conjunction with the shield rod or whether Alucard's shield just has that ability passively. I don't know. Okay, so let's head up. Now, if we try and heal... Oh! This is healing us now. It didn't when I was practicing this off camera. Maybe that was a bug. Curious. Very curious. I thought it was odd, you know. Now, if we come in here, there is a shotel and a hammer. Because why not? Uh, nothing else in here, I don't think. Nope. All right, Vlad, let's get out of here. Now, these Nova skeletons are still no joke. They really will lay the hurt on us if we give them the chance. Good news is, we're not going to give them the chance. Nice little bit of heart power. Now if we come up here, I don't think there's an awful lot of much up here, to be honest. But I might have to pause the video anyway. Let's regen some of our magic. Should be okay. I think. Oof. I think I will resist doing that until we actually need to do it. Hey, friendo. And skeletons are still so satisfying to destroy. And of course we would miss one tile out from the map. There we go. We got it. We got it. So the boss that I'm looking for is around here somewhere. Not in this particular area, but very close. Uh, so we need to drop down. And there is our life up. There we go. Man, it's kind of insane to think how far we've come. Uh, I can't actually remember how much health we started the game with. Uh, it wasn't this much. I know that much. Now, these guys aren't too much to write home about. A couple of quick swipes. Bonk the skull off. And the body dies. Beautiful. I'm also getting some screen tearing at the bottom of my screen now. I don't know why. Now. I believe if we come over here. There we go. We get a save room. Excellent. Just what the doctor ordered. If vampires need a doctors anyway. I'm not sure if they do. Probably not. Maybe they have special vampire doctors. Now through here is another boss, and he is called the Creature. Now, how are we going to defeat the Creature, I hear you asking. Well, we're just going to turn into a gas cloud and stink him out. And <laughs> it's not actually going to take that long to deal with him. He's kind of a joke. Or, well, I don't know if he's a joke or whether we're just so disgustingly overpowered now. <laughs> with this gas cloud and that my friends allows us the tooth of Vlad and that is the final piece of our dear father Vladdy boy so if we have a look now tooth of Vlad so that gives us permanent plus 10 to strength 
And now we have every item, every optional item here. Not that all of them are optional. Some of them, as we know, are not. But it matters not because we have them all. So there's a shield potion. And that's just going to lead us back there. So you know what? Let's go and save it because we are unfortunately out of time. And then when we come back, well, we're going to be exploring the library. The library has gone through some changes for a start. It's upside down now. Who would have thunk? So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.